Hey boys, what is up? Welcome to the final installment of Mr. Luke and Myself's Best of Three series, and if you've been keeping up to date with the series so far, obviously Mr. Luke has taken a series out with a with uh, winning the first two games. The first game I lost, I think it was 18-0. You know, the score blew out at the end, but I wasn't really in it. It wasn't wasn't a great game. The next game um, I lost by six points. Um, I'm ruining that game honestly because I felt like I felt like I should have won. Yeah, there was a couple of big mistakes in that game, but overall I thought I played pretty good. But yeah, the final game of the series, still playing. It's obviously a a state of origin affair right here, as we're playing with uh, the almighty Queensland Maroons, and Mr. Luke is playing with the 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 decent Blues, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, we start start the game off actually pretty strongly for once. Usually our first set of the game is pretty pretty ordinary. As we spread it out to Nate Miles, we finds a bit of gap up the middle there, but tackled strongly. And third tackle. Third tackle, we actually spread it out wide. Cooper Cronk finds a big gap off a nice pass there. And just pin the ears back, son. Go for it. Brett Stewart coming across strongly, but he is not going to catch him. Cooper Cronk with amazing pace in this game. All the halves in 5-8 in this game have ridiculous speed stat. I mean, Kronk, uh, Kronk in real life, I mean, a couple of years ago, they used to always say he was like the quickest Melbourne Storm player over like 10 to 20 meters, but yeah, it was a pretty, pretty decent effort there. It was just, honestly, I was pretty hyped after that try. Um, it looked really cool. You know, Kronk, I, I was debating, should I cut back on the inside, but I just thought, just go for the corner. It'll look, it'll look pretty special either way. And we did the big dive at the end and Brett Stewart coming across, uh, timed his dive to perfection as well it, just, it looked real it looked realistic the way he he dove uh dove across to try to make the tackle but yeah pretty pretty awesome start uh the kick we missed the kick uh shocking shocking because the, it was should have been an easy kick it wasn't even swinging fast but uh yeah we we miss it um bit of an opportunity blown i gotta say it was uh just a big mistake really hopefully it won't come back to bite us though Hopefully it won't. <laughs> Chances are I probably will though. But yeah, up 4-0. Uh, great for, great start. Great start. We haven't started off any of the games as strongly. So it's good to get off off to an early lead in this game, let's say. But uh, knowing me, I'll probably uh, do a few silly passes now and again. But, you know, getting that 4-0 up is going to be strong. Because I've, always, I've felt in this game, when you're playing with like the Queensland side or... Uh, representative side, their, their defense is like really strong. Like it's, it's it seems like you can tackle up better. I don't know you're playing with like better players, but it just seems like you can just tackle so much easier with them. Uh, but our second set of the game made literally no ground, and but I think it was Cooper Cronk there put in a pretty nice kick, found a bit of room, but the kick chase so bad. <laughs> I could, this happens like all the time though in this game. For some reason, whenever you kick the ball, the the AI does not chase the kick well at all. Um, and you can exploit that definitely when you get the get the chance to return kicks because the AI never rush rush up on you. So it's pretty simple stuff. But Mr. Luke or the Blues here get a, a good opportunity to strike back. And for some reason our marker there was offside. Uh, that's always a little strange. Sometimes they just call one of the markers offside for some for some unbeknownst reason to me. Maybe they just don't realize second marker. But he throws a bit of a uh, risky offload, but it, it does pay off. And we we cover it up well. We cover it up nicely there as he steps around one, puts a bomb up. Very risky. I'm not great with the bombs, and he does come down with it. A good pass off. Billy Slater, though, comes up with a massive hit on... I don't know who it is out there, but that was a huge tackle. Could have been a, could have been an equalizer pretty much straight away. So, good stuff by Billy Slater to come across and cover it up. As he's sort of racing up out of the line here, trying to pin us down in our end and it's sort of working at the moment as you try to spread it wide and just the outside men just all over the shop and right here just oh watch this so bad so bad I'm just like kicking myself how terrible that was <laughs> I do blame the AI for that though slightly because they all just raced up in front of me and we had a good opportunity because he was so compressed that we we just needed to spread it out and we had him on the outside but uh, it was just not to be it was just just a silly pass, a bit of panic set in. Um, we were not making any ground in in attack, so just one of those times where just just that one extra pass, man. But sort of sort of my game in this series, with nutshell. But 
he does get the offload there, and I've got to say, that was forward as fuck, but <laughs> Brett Stewart does get over for the try. Like, that was forward. Really? Um, not complaining, but I got called for a forward pass, and this one, we drove him back, and he offloads it. Nah, that's forward, man. That is forward. Uh, but Brett Stewart does barge his way over for a try. We'll say it's flat. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt, ref. Ref, I don't know what you're doing to me. You know, I've already lost two games this series. Need a bit, need a bit of luck this game. But so the kick, the kick, uh, our miss kick already comes back to bite us a little bit, as we should be level. But yeah, poor kick. I was, I was very disappointed with that because Thurston's kicking stat is ridiculously high. So shouldn't really be missing those. As once again, the fucking kickoffs, man. Um, just I don't understand. I don't even know what's going on. I did see in one of I did, uh, Mr. Luke made a video and he, he mentioned something about a kicking bug and so maybe that's what's happening. I'm, I don't know, I haven't even, I've never seen it before I, I played this, this best of three series with him, so I'm not, I have no idea what is going on, but it, it is quite frustrating, honestly, because the kicks are, they're a pretty big part of it, the kickoffs, because you really need to pin them down in their end. I mean, if you're, if you're defending them and they're like 10 meters out from their try line, 10, 20 meters, it's so hard to spread the ball. But if you're like where they are now, it's a lot easier to spread it. Uh, but we do defend that pretty well. Uh, we pin them down and they made hardly no ground. And it looks like, I don't know who that is. I think it's Moylan um, at 5'8". Uh, it gets tackled on the last tackle. So not great stuff there. Not great stuff by Moylan getting caught with the ball. As he races up there with Big James. James Tamo, it looks like, on Thurston. Nate Miles, good pass off to Billy Slater. Had the arm free, looking for the offload, and, you know, that was probably one of those times where I could have offloaded. I'm just so, I'm sort of so gun-shy after making a couple of errors with the offload, but a beautiful pass there to Miles, straight through the gap. If only that was like a Greg Inglis on the inside ball there, but I love doing those inside passes. They look really good in this game, and they, they work. They work well. As we uh, throw a risky offload, and i got to say, if, if Mr. Luke's one was forward, uh, that was probably forward as well, honestly, so... A uh, bit of an even up, even though it wasn't quite a try. But we do spread it wide here. And another offload. You know, I'm starting to, starting to throw it around a bit. You know, it's the last game of the series. I'm not too worried about going down in this one. But it'd be good to get the win up. As actually half-time. The half-time has snuck up very quickly. We put the bomb up. I think it was Justin Hodges following through. I thought he had the ball for a second there. But uh, the, the Blues come up with it and they... They hold out till half time. We had a good opportunity there. And as you see, uh, great completions by both teams. The only error we did was that one uh, where they got the try. So a bit unfortunate. A bit unfortunate, but definitely my own fault. Just shouldn't have passed it. But yeah, 6-4. Uh, you know, I was going to say, <laughs> it's funny because I was going to say a typical uh, Origin encounter, but it's really not that typical because Origins the last couple of years have been fairly blowout scores, I mean, obviously, Queensland have been pretty dominant, but the Blues have done a fair uh, couple of games where they scored a few, and right here, uh, Billy Slater, I did pretty well, um, he probably, he probably should have taken it on with uh, Brett Stewart or Moylan there, but I think I did a pretty good job of just holding off with Slater, uh, but he does have a really good opportunity as he, that line break definitely caused a bit of trouble there, but we defend pretty well after it, and then last tackle, he gets the offload away, Running for the line. A great tackle by Billy Slater once again. You know, there was one of those times where he pinned the, pinned the ears back, went for the try line, didn't worry about the kick. was probably probably the right op, right option, but it just... Just Billy Slater once again. <laughs> coming up big for us this game. And, yeah, trying to trying to work out, out of our end once again. It's been a bit tough, but Hodges here with a bit of room to move, but a, a good one-on-one -on -one tackle there. And we do get the penalty, though, a bit... Bit too long in the in the tackle there. A bit silly. A bit over enthusiastic, which is pretty common in Origin, but penalties aren't that common. But yeah, so far, so far the Blues have had most of the running in this second half with that with that big line break by Brett Stewart. A bit of a I gotta say a bit of a strange looking Blues lineup with like Stewart at the fullback and Moylan at 5'8". Uh, all rated really good on this game, but it is a little a little strange. No Dugan. Actually, yeah. No Dugan in this game. Also, no... I mean, Moylan probably... I mean, I don't know what other 5-8 you'd do. It's right there. Thurston. The pass is on. It just... It came off the, the Blues' head. 
Or otherwise, Sam Thide was straight through the gap. I was, I was a bit unlucky there. A bit unlucky, but probably just passed it a touch too late. As we get called for offside again, it was just, I don't know. <laughs> I mentioned it in the first half, but just, just sometimes as it looks like it's sort of glitching out a bit there. I don't know what's going on, but I don't know. This, this just game sometimes doesn't really understand that the second marker is there. As we look to make a couple of interchanges while this uh, the game just is in slow motion for a second. Uh, our bench is decent. Probably don't have the, the impact that I would like, but Dylan Up is a good player and Josh McGuire. Pretty good player as well on this game. But once again, uh, the Blues are going to get a good opportunity here to further extend their lead with a, a good uh, chance for a, an attacking set. A full set in our in our half where the time is starting to, starting to eat away as Moylan, bloody hell, just just steps around one, shrugs off another one. Big good stuff there by want to get that man Slater, but also Nate Miles to uh, cover up well as Slater. Doubles up with the, another strong tackle there. But off to Aaron Woods. Trying to spread it wide. Shrugs off one. But throws a, throws a bit of a silly offload. Pretty much all Queenslanders right there. And we do come up with the ball. So uh, pretty uh, pretty well defended as we throw a terrible off, terrible pass. Thankfully Sam Thide was, was in the vicinity and was able to pick that one up. As Slater here looks to... Exploit a bit of a gap, but shut down pretty quickly there. And we're just, just struggling to get out of our end at the moment. Just a uh, bit of struggle street as we throw a silly offload. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, a bit of, um, I guess uh, I'll talk about this game a bit. Like, we, we played this series, like, ages ago. Like, I don't know. It's probably, I don't know, probably, like, three weeks, nearly a month now. So, I do remember the game, but, geez, watching it back, it is, it's pretty bad. I've got to say, I feel like I've got, I will say, I feel like I've gotten a lot better since, uh, since playing this series with Mr. Luke, uh, just watching some of my play, it's, it's absolutely abysmal, but, uh, we do, uh, we do exploit the, uh, the markers racing up there and stop him on the last tackle, as once again, we, our defense, our defense has been pretty strong, it's just our attack is just, we're just struggling because, like I said, when you're like in this position, it's really hard to get out of out of your end. Um, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure why. It just for some reason, it just feels like you don't have any room to move, and it feels like the AI actually rush, uh, rushes up and puts some pressure on you. As Thurston there, just a bit of bit of footwork to break the first tackle and holding on ridiculously long as we do get a penalty there. Had to get a penalty, just uh, forever in that tackle. So a couple of penalties going our way to get us out of trouble, which is definitely a good thing. And this is this is our opportunity. I I've, I didn't even realize, but it's 71 minutes gone, so the time is quickly quickly running out, and we need to try. We need to try after missing that kick. Is just us. Oh my god, watching this game. I'm sorry, guys. Like any any of you guys what, having to watch this game, I um I'm sorry. This is just fucking awful. <laughs> I feel like Mr. Luke probably uh, obviously didn't play too well either this game because, I mean, I gave, I've gave i given him a lot of chances to score, but he's thrown a, through a few silly passes as well and being tackled on the last a couple of times. So, yeah, I just feel like it's a bad game by both of us. 6-4, uh, though. I guess the uh, the only thing is you can say our defense has been pretty strong as uh, English gets a good ball away, but just, once again, the one-on-one -on -one tackle, uh, I think it was Boyd that couldn't quite get the, the break. As we try to... Miles just did not throw the ball. So we... Oh my God, this game. <laughs> this game is so trash. So trash. It's Corey Parker there. Trying to trying to do a bit in defense. Comes up with a big hit. Uh, Guerra puts someone on his back after he passes it. I mean, this this stage of the game, I was, I was just pretty annoyed, honestly. Pretty annoyed as just coming up looking for the hits. Uh, Greg Inglis gets called offside. So uh, it looks like Mr. Luke is going to... Uh, scratch away and get away with this win a two point win unless he gets a try at the end here but yeah it's a I gotta say pretty pretty poor game pretty ordinary game um, but overall overall it was a great series great series between Mr. Luke and myself obviously Mr. Luke was a better player on this on this occasion and throughout the whole series but yeah it was a, it was a really fun series a good good uh, three games to play a lot of fun uh 
it seemed like most of you guys enjoyed the series, so that's great to hear. Could be, you know, potential to do sort of stuff like this in the future. But yeah, that's it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And make sure to check out Mr. Luke's uh, video for his uh, epic video. Yeah, I'll see you next time.